we have a number of causes that have made that have brought in such violence we have a number of uh, reasons that have encouraged the youth to involve in such activities now the government equally have a portion to play the elderly equally have a role to play and equally the various NGOs have a role to play in ensuring that we have peace in ensuring that we have collaboration between the different uh, members of other denominations. Equally, the clergy or the religious leaders have a role to play, but predominantly, the youth can do more when they start involving. It starts with you and it goes out to others. We need to realize that much as we have diverse religious affiliations, our similarities are far more than our differences. So why can't we leave the differences and then we move on? And equally, we need to realize that Uganda being a, a country that uh, emphasizes through their laws that everyone should practice their religion, but it is your fundamental obligation as a person to love your neighbor. Now, your neighbor does not mean a Muslim since you're a Muslim but your neighbor can mean a person whom you owe a duty of care to, a person who can be easily affected by your act, a person who can be easily affected when you join such violent acts. So it is our fundamental obligation to love our neighbors, to ensure peace, to encourage harmony, and leave out the three, four differences that we have.